this week, we're looking at another iteration of my LED pictogram project. Why? Well, just like with 3D printing, we have a standard bungee bolt we test prints with. A small simple idea that has many variations is a good way to learn about commercial hardware production. In case you haven't seen the other videos, these aren't really about DIY. This is about how to work with Chinese companies like JLCPCB to bring a simple product to market using the DIY skill that we might normally use just for fun. As I talked about before, 100 years ago in China, you have Kung Fu for fighting and fun and Kung Fu skills to pay the bills. Putting on a show with tricks in the marketplace, beggar Kung Fu. Everyone's got to put food on the table. So in these hardware production videos, that's what we explore, beggar kung fu for makers. Taking your idea for a simple electronic product, kind of like an app, but in hardware, and working with JLC PCB to make it real. That product could be anything, something to fit your pads, some kind of alarm or timer, something to make your work easier anything you can think of. What this means is we don't have to do everything ourselves. It's not like the old days where you would have to pay to have a prototype made, go to a contract manufacturer with engineers on staff, the git economy to the rescue. As shown in my other videos, if you have a good idea of what you want, you can hire an engineer on Upwork or Fire to do the work for you. It can take a few tries to get it right, I actually mostly do this with local Chinese engineers. I've kind of been thinking of doing it as a business since I have a Chinese company now. I could translate and help people get their electronics designed. What do you think? Let me know in the comments if that's something you would be interested in. Here are the version of the LED pectoral rings we have so far. This is one color surface mount components, simple patterns. This one is a full hole component, learn to solder kit, great for kits. Both of these are very simple. This new one is the fancy one. It's programmable and full RGB. The great thing is that JLC PCB has started offering PCBA surface. So I don't have to do all the surface mount soldering anymore. Still, I know you like to see it and it's good to stay in practice. So I'll solder one of the rings then we'll program it.
So now we're going to program the ring and I'm going to use the J-Link uh, with uh, J-Flash to flash it. Now we are in the J-Flash program. I'm going to plug in the USB. Now there's a light on here and I plug in the, I put the extension board on the J tag uh, arm testing and now we are going to use my wires I'm going to use my uh, test pogo pin um, on my PCB ring okay in the jailing program I am going to your project Target device, let me choose. Nordic Semi 512. Okay. Target interface, WSWD. So now I'm in my LED ring. Um, File, open PCA. And open the Intel hex file. Okay, open. Okay, connected successfully, and I'm going to program it. Target program successfully completed after 0.259 seconds. Okay, let's turn on and see. Right now, let's go out and test it. 